In order to calculate the electric potential due to this arrangement of charges, we need to know that the electric potential due to a single point charge is given by this equation right here. Now, in fact, it's usually more convenient to rewrite this equation in terms of the Coulomb's constant, K. And this value, 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon, is actually equivalent to K. So we can actually rewrite this formula as K times Q over R. And what we're going to do is set up a computation for each of the four charges in order to calculate the total electric potential. The equation below tells us that to get the total electric potential, you just add up the individual electric potentials of each charge. So for example, if we start with this charge right here, we would say that the electric potential due to that charge would equal K multiplied by the charge Q divided by the distance from that charge to point P, which is where we're trying to calculate the total potential. You can see the distance from that charge to point P is denoted by the letter D. So we're going to put D as our distance. Moving on to this charge, we would have the same expression. So we're going to add this expression for the electric potential. It would be K times Q divided by the same distance D. We go to this charge right here, and you'll see that that charge is indeed negative. So this time we're going to say plus k times negative q divided by the same distance d. And then finally, moving on to this charge right here, it is also negative. So we'll have plus k times negative q. Now notice actually that the distance from that charge to point p is actually 2d as indicated in the diagram. So we'll make sure to put 2d there for the distance. Now what we're going to do is simplify this equation. You'll notice actually that this term and this term are opposites. One's positive and the other is negative. So in fact these can actually cancel out. So now we simply have kq over d. And in addition, this positive and this negative together make a subtraction or a minus sign. So we'll actually have minus kq over 2d. And I guess to simplify it further, we can find a common denominator. So you can multiply this denominator by 2 as well as the numerator. So now we have the total potential equals 2kq over 2d minus 1kq over 2d. And in fact, we can now subtract the numerators 2kq minus 1kq is 1kq, and this will be over 2d. So now it's just a matter of plugging in known values. We know k is a constant. It's 8.99 times 10 to the power of 9, and the unit there is newton meters squared per coulomb squared. This will be multiplied by q, which is the charge value given in the question. That q was given as 5 femtocoulombs. Coulombs, excuse me. So you'll have 5, and then to convert femtocoulombs into just coulombs, you multiply it by 10 to the minus 15. And then so now it's in coulombs. And then we divide by 2 multiplied by the distance value, and that distance value d was equal to 4 centimeters. Be careful again, you want to convert the 4 centimeters into meters, so you'll multiply it by 10 to the minus 2. So now we'll pick up our calculators and we will process this calculation. And when you do so, you will get a total electric potential value of approximately 5.62 times 10 to the minus 4. And electric potential has a standard unit of volts. So this would be the correct answer to the question.